You have done it. You have decided to stop paying rent and take the next step to start looking for the home of your own. But you are locked into a lease and don't really understand how to appropriately navigate the correct timeline to make that dream become a reality. Hi, I'm Robert Webb, team leader of the Destination NJ Home Selling Team. I'm here to help you navigate all things real estate, specifically focused on helping our clients with buying, selling, and living in the heart of NJ, North and Central New Jersey. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you give this video a like. It helps get this video to more people that can use this information. Today, I wanna to go over a sample timeline that you can work off of so that you can take the next best step to get into that home and stop paying someone else's mortgage and start paying your own and investing in your future. The first thing you need to do is to know your dates. You need to know that when your lease is up, and you need to know the date that your landlord is gonna want a decision if you're gonna to plan to renew your lease or not. And both of these items are gonna help you decide when you wanna be in your new home. A few tips on dealing with your landlord. If you have a more corporate landlord, things get a little bit more difficult, but see if you can potentially go month to month or even negotiate a shorter term lease to put you in a more ideal range of when you want to buy a home. If you have a mom and pop landlord, that is an individual landlord that only owns a couple of properties, maybe one to five, they are probably gonna be a lot more flexible with the terms that you and them can work out, assuming that that relationship has been a good one. Here is a potential solution that I have used in the past to help my clients successfully navigate out of lease and into a home. That you wanna be able to let out of that lease early when you find that house and that new tenant is going to take over. This is a win-win because it gives you the flexibility to find that house on your schedule while knowing you have a place to live. And it's a win for your landlord because they will essentially have no lapse in their rent. You are still responsible for that payment until the new tenant takes over the property. But once they do, you are released of the remaining obligation under that lease. I have personally used this method successfully and think it helps both parties get what they want. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you wanna buy a new home and be in it on July 1st, which is also when your lease ends, but don't get too hung up on that specific date. Since we are gonna be working backwards to come up with this timeline, once you have your date in mind, you can do the same thing, work backwards to come up with a timeline that suits your needs. So assuming that you wanna be in your new home on July 1st, the first thing I'm going to do is account for potential delays and a less stressful move between your apartment and your future home. And to account for this, I would say that you should plan to close two weeks before your ideal closing date of July 1st. Two weeks before that would put us right around June 15th. If you tell your landlord that you are moving out on July 1, and for some reason that transaction gets delayed, you could very well be homeless and need to stay in a hotel or with a family member or friend, and then you're gonna have to move your stuff twice. This is gonna be significantly more expensive than just paying both your rent and your new mortgage for a few weeks. So now that we know that we're looking to close on June 15th, two weeks prior to our ideal date, we now need to plan four to seven weeks to go through that sales process. We're gonna have negotiations, inspections, attorney review, mortgage stuff, and so on. So to account for this, I'm gonna budget six weeks on average. It could be sooner, it could be a little bit later, but in this example of a perfect world, we're gonna use six weeks or 45 days. That means that if you wanna close on June 15th, you need to have found a property that you've gotten an accepted offer on by May 1st. But in order to get that offer accepted on May 1st, we need to budget time for making serious offers. The chances that you get your first offer accepted isn't zero, but it also isn't 100%. So if we wanna be on the safe side of finding a house and coming to terms, then I would budget for three weeks of serious offer making. And the good news is that if you do get your first offer accepted, you can always negotiate a slightly longer closing date or maybe you have an extra week of overlap with your rental and your new home, but at least you have options versus getting there too late where you're forced to make decisions. So if we wanna have an offer accepted by May 1st, we need to start making serious offers by April 10th. Now, that's actually a very important timeframe for another reason. 
a lot of leases have a provision where the landlord is going to let you know 90 days before the end of your lease, which would be April 1st, to know if you want to renew or not. This is when they're going to let you know the new rent terms and if you want to continue renting. And usually you need to let them know 60 days before the end of the lease or May 1st in this case, what your intentions are. But since in this example, we should have an accepted offer on or around May 1st, we are gonna have a pretty good idea if we need to give notice to the landlord or if we need to deploy some tactics to work with that landlord to figure out a more flexible schedule. All right, so if we know that we need to be making offers by April 10th, then we need to budget some time for searching for homes since you probably aren't gonna be making offers on the very first home that you see. This one is a bit more open-ended since different people make decisions differently. If you are someone that makes very quick decisions and you have a concrete idea of what you like, what you want, then you might only need to budget two to four weeks of looking before making serious offers. If you are someone that needs a bit more time or isn't clear on what you want, you might need more time and thus you wanna budget maybe four to eight weeks of researching and looking at these properties before making concrete decisions. For the purpose of this timeline, I'm gonna budget for four weeks of searching before starting to pull the trigger on offers, but you need to be real with yourself and how you make decisions. So in this case, if we wanna be making decisions by April 10th, we need to be actively looking at homes starting by no later than March 10th. That means for the month of February, you have three important steps to take to make this process as easy as possible for yourself. First, you need to identify the realtor that you want to work with. Your realtor should be doing this day in and day out, and they can help answer your upfront questions and help you get clear on the timeline and your criteria. You should be finding an agent that is an expert in the areas that you want to buy in and make sure that they have experience that is gonna be able to help you leverage when it comes to negotiating. I cannot stress this enough. Just because every realtor is licensed does not make every realtor equal. Some realtors are much better equipped to help you navigate your journey and overcome obstacles as they come up. If you do wanna get started working with me, my team, and my network, make sure you check out the link at the bottom of the screen and it will be in the description below as well. We would love to help you out. Next up, you should get pre-approved. That means that you should be speaking with the lender. And if you don't already have one, utilize your Realtors Connections since they have already done a lot of the legwork and picked out the good ones. Have a conversation with them about your finances. They are gonna have you fill out an application, ask you for some documents, and this is all to avoid further headaches down the road. This is a vital first step that is gonna help you and your realtor when you start seeing homes to make sure they are the right ones in the right budget. If you want an in-depth overview of the pre-approval process, we just did a video on it. I'm gonna leave it down below if you wanna check out that one next. And the last step is to formulate your crystal clear criteria. This criteria is centered around the structural component of your search and it is the bedrock of your search. The cosmetics are important and they will dictate the final price of a specific home, but just because a house has a beautiful kitchen doesn't mean you're gonna buy it if it only has two bedrooms and you need three bedrooms. So the crystal clear criteria focuses on price, which you're gonna get from your pre-approval, towns, which I would keep to eight max to avoid overwhelming amount of information, beds, baths, basement, and garage. These six data points allow for a clear search of homes that you would actually consider buying. And if you have these items figured out early, you can cut through all the noise of homes that simply don't work and focus on the ones that do, and then you can move on to the cosmetic items from there. So just to recap, if you wanna get out of your lease and into your new home on July 1, here's what that looks like. In February, you need to select your realtor, get pre-approved, and formulate your crystal clear criteria. On April 10th, you need to start looking for homes that fit your criteria and either make changes to that criteria or hone in further on what you want. This is all so that you can start making great offers on May 10th with the expectation that you will have gotten an accepted offer by June 1st. That will allow 45 days to be under contract and successfully closed by July 15th, all in time to easily move in and stop paying rent by July 1st. Well, 
That's all I got for you. I hope I shed some light on this process and took some of the fear out of it. If you wanna get started working with me, my team, and my network here in the heart of NJ, I wanna invite you to click the first link down below in the description or the one at the bottom of the screen. And that way we can start learning all about you, your search, and how we could help.